Hello, I'm Richard Hooper and this is Sat TV Week. Now I'm pleased to be joined by Thomas Froelich of Work Microwave. Thomas, thank you for joining us. Work Microwave is world renowned for its products in the RF sector. How do you keep innovating? Well, Richard, first of all, we are an engineering company. Uh, we are in our 33rd year of existence, so this company has a long heritage. Uh, in the field of RF technology, but also in the field of uh, digital signal processing, and we are an engineering company. Really, we, this is in our this is in our uh, trips. This is where we come from. Uh, we have a huge portion of uh, our population of our uh, people who have an in-depth engineering uh, uh, education, and uh, the spirit in the company is really about developing new products, developing new technologies, and uh, this by carefully observing the market. So uh, that's the second pillar. We have a worldwide presence uh, through regional sales directors and sales offices and partners. And we are constantly, through uh, occasions like this one here, Communication this year, but also the other big uh, shows in the world, uh, we are carefully observing the market trends, we are listening to our customers and we try to merge both our engineering ideas and the trend of the interest in the market and our customers to come up with new products. That's how we typically engineer and how we innovate. Now, where are your products aimed at? What sectors? So, Work Microwave globally has four product lines. Uh, three of them are not in the SATCOM field, this is more in military radar, uh, navigation simulation and, and, and sensors for industrial production control. Uh, SATCOM is our biggest uh, field of activity and within SATCOM we are obviously most famous for our frequency converters. If you would ask here during the show what, is, what does Merck Microwave stand for, most of your people interrogated would say were frequency converters. Where I can truly and honestly say, in the meanwhile, we have become number one worldwide. Um, but as well, we have a very important digital product line, as we call that. So that's our modems, modulators, demodulators, at the same time for broadcast applications and for uh, IP networks. Uh, together with that go, obviously, uh, uh, products like, like redundancy switches um, or, or test sources. Uh, for, for hubs. That's, that's our product portfolio in SATCOM, which is, uh, I think, a quite consistent one. Now, the industry has gone through a great deal of change over the last 12 months, and companies have faced challenges, but as somebody with your experience, what do you see as the challenges for the industry as a whole? So, the challenges, for, I think the, the industry is already uh, uh, in full speed undergoing uh, a transition which is away from broadcast towards uh, IP-based uh, uh, systems and architectures. And this has a tremendous impact as well on the space segment. We have, since a couple of years, seen the introduction of HTS satellites. Now we speak about VHTS satellites uh, with new technologies, with a lot more throughput, uh, but on the ground segment as well. So we see uh, stagnating or decreasing demand uh, in for everything which is broadcasting, so broadcast modulation, for instance, goes down. And IP systems and VSAT systems, <coughs> uh, they, they, they are being introduced in the hubs uh, and the ground stations uh, all around the globe. So um, this is obviously a, a big challenge to, to us as well. That's why we develop a, a range of IP-based modulators and, and modems and uh, together with the demand of uh, increasingly high data rates being transferred, uh, we go up to higher frequencies when we speak about the frequency conversion. So now we have, call it lighthouse or whatsoever projects, but very visible uh, uh, projects that will pave the way into this new technology of Q and V band, 50 gigahertz and above. And our mission very clearly for Work Microwave is on the frequency converter uh, side of this business, we have the clear mission to be number one worldwide. So looking forward, next 12 months, what are the key pointers for Work Microwave? 
So as I already mentioned, this is a nice transition. It is the Q and V band in frequency conversion. We are fully engaged and fully involved into some of the upcoming projects. And I hope we can win them and we can deliver them to the, to the utmost satisfaction of our customers. And uh, we as well are promoting, selling our end-to-end -end wideband uh, capability, modulator, demodulator, S2X, uh, 500 mega symbols per second. That means you can transfer, if, the, if your link budget is there, up to three gigabit or beyond per second. Uh, and this is for IP trunking, for connectivity, for cruise ships, etc., etc. These are the applications. This is what we have in terms of, of challenges, uh, technology-wise. And beyond that, the company has a number of challenges. Uh, for instance, we, thanks to our very positive evolution in the last years, uh, we are going to move facilities in the next six months. So for us, it's a challenge. We will do this in a very coordinated and well-planned way so that our customers will not be delayed in their deliveries. Uh, it's a very big project it's after 20, 27 years in the actual facilities we are moving. And along as well with this, uh, with this growth comes the introduction of a nice ERP system. So we are becoming more professional, more industrial at uh, Work Microwave. Uh, that's an evolution of the last couple of years thanks to our very positive evolution on the market. Thomas, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Richard. Thanks for coming.